Hello everybody, this is Nintendo14. Welcome back to more Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Chapter 7, Part 3. In the last part, we shot ourselves toward the moon, and we took out the... Not took out, but the... We explored uh, the first chunk of x Fortress. In, uh, in level 1, sub-level 1, and a little bit of sub-level 2. And this part, we're going to be exploring more of sub-level 2. In hopes of uh, allowing us to access more of sub-level 1. So we'll just uh, begin this video by doing ju exactly just let this just that. We also got the feeling fine badges in the last part. Gonna help us out with those pesky X dot PhD uh, projectile attacks. And so now I think um uh I, I really want to say that uh, we don't need the quake hammer any badge anymore. And uh, power smash. Yeah, we'll get rid of the power smash. I never found myself using that. I think I'll be fine just using the spin jumps. So um, now I'm in a little bit of a conflict here. I think um, okay, I, I could use the fire. Nah, I don't know. I don't want to use it. Let's try and mix things up here and uh, uh, I really, I really don't know what badge to have now. Uh, I guess I could just either if I really don't know what to have, I'll just put back on the badges that I just had on. But I, I just feel like I could have the hammer throw on if I ever need it. And, uh. Oh boy. The. Was the. The P up D down badge would be really good. It cheaply raises up our. Our attack, but it does lower down our defense. I'm not really too concerned about uh, defense right now, but. Uh, just for safety measures, I'll, maybe we'll have it on. Instead, I'll, I mean, I'm just taking much, uh, more time than I uh, would like to uh, on just the uh, badges. Uh, I'll just have the damage on, dodge on, in case if I feel like I need to uh, uh, just have regular guard commands. And so this room we already explored. We gotta just head to the very uh, far right here, because I think uh, uh, just, uh, I think there's one more secret you could do in that one room with the the dangling uh, little vent area. So we have, once again, we, like we did in the last part, let's spring jump back up here. And instead, let's uh, show off a little Easter egg by paper moding uh, down into this little area. And we can emerge. And just like in the first game, we have to have our 8-bit Easter egg. But as an added bonus, we also have 8-bit party members. Just looking at them. They're all nice and 8-bit. All of them, Gumelo Coops, Flurry. And you have Flurry just with 8-bit boobs. I mean, it's just a... Feature that just have to keep their Kool Aid in our little derpy Yoshi, baby Yoshi. That's right. Vivian and Bobbery. Everybody look all nice. But um, I believe if you just uh, go back in here and. No, they're still like that. Maybe if you go in here, if it reverts. No. I guess uh, it only reverts if you go out back out the door. So, how to activate the switch left, right, and middle. Don't forget. This is what they're, they're talking about that cog area in level or sub level one. You just hit the combination in that order. I forgot about that one part that I just remembered from on top of my head. So here's the code we need to access there that we need to in order to access that one room in the right of sub level one. It is zero one four zero two nine. Don't forget about the, it. I like to just uh, the, my way of memorizing that is just a uh, name like. Oh, this, that was, I guess I'll fight you. But um, my way of memorizing the that code is just, uh, it starts with a zero, and then it's Tony Stewart. That's his number for uh, NASCAR. And then it's another zero, and then it's Kevin Harvick. That was his old number, the 29. Now it's number four. And so now we um, got ourselves a long stretch of enemies here. Gonna have to finally make more cuts. I didn't do cuts in the last part, but in this part it's necessary. Almighty full Marley, just, just, uh, just there, just, just giving me the thought of maybe I should. Oh, I, I guess not. I should have the thought of using Coops's last ability, but I guess uh, we can't do that. So I'll just have, uh, I'll just switch out Coops, and we still just lost uh, his ability to attack. 
real big bummer just a the real big weak point on on coops is that is that you can fall over by any attacks that uh, could do so that is just, just makes him a little bit difficult to handle but yeah that battle is way worth it we got 20 dang star points from battling four elite x knots I can take that thank you very much and all these coins too replenish these from the ones that I lost through running away simply and so now uh, with all that battle with that one battle that was taken care of well that we may or may not have needed to do but what am I saying we just got 20 dang star points from of course it's really helpful to us so now uh, we need to go back to sub level 1 and now we know the code well I, I kind of forgot about it which is why I actually came down to it legitimately without just uh, just looking up looking it up online or through my player's guide so now let's just uh, enter the password zero Tony Stewart and then zero and then old Kevin Harvick there we go just like that see NASCAR's good as in you can memorize numbers by just you, know, you just shorten it up by just a name I just make the weirdest ways to memorize stuff I know we're all like that aren't we who are you, huh? You came here to get the elevator key so you can access the computer room? Yeah, we gotta find it. The computer room. Yeah, I thought so. Well then, you're gonna have to beat me to get it. And if you lose, your life is mine. You hear me? Mine. So, what do you say? We challenge this jump. We challenge him just as hard as we challenged the guy back in Chapter 1. And by, by that, I mean we're gonna... Do it the hard way. Mm, you're mine now. I don't like where you're going when you're saying you're mine. It just sounds creepier every time you say it. And here we go, folks. The main event. The 66th annual quirk quiz. Yay. If you get five cor correct answers to the following questions, then you win, win, win. But if you get just three wrong answers, you're toast. And you, wanna, you don't want to be toast, folks. Yeah, you don't want to stuff the toast all the way in the back. Because that's where it gets real toasty and to the point where they're burnt. And the toast in the front is not so toasty. I have a weird toaster, guys. Well, what are we waiting for? Huh? Here we go. Question number one. Just so I can track stuff better, I'm going to answer the first four questions right. And the rest will be wrong. So exactly what is hidden here? You just said it. The elevator key. Are you sure about that? Yeah. So correct answer number one. Just like with last time with these, I'm not going to get all of the questions right. Rather, I'm going to show all of them, then get the very last one wrong, and then we're going to battle. Because you battle if you get all the answers wrong. Yeah, you're correct, crud. But that was an easy one. You won't uh, do so well on the next one, I guarantee you that. Here we go, sucker. <laughs> yeah, fly. He'll fly up my nose. Now, question number two. What's the name of the girl in Pedalberg who's waiting patiently for Koops' return? Goopy Coop. I mean, just they're just uh, testing us to see if uh, we're not those uh, eh, those, uh, those words that you, you just skip dialogue and you don't care about anything, you know, like character uh, stuff and a anything like that. Yeah, you're correct, crud. So if you're in that situation, then you're kind of screwed for this uh, in, in this uh questions because maybe you're skipping the questions like that too yeah I don't know but that was an easy one you won't do so well you're, you're saying the same thing just like the first guy we did or the first guy we uh, answered questions to Goomba lava buzzle buzzy beetle and boo how many feet do they have total they have Goomba has two so that's two lava bubble has none buzzy beetle has four I believe so that's six in total, right? Yep, I'm right. I could do math, guys. Basic math 101. Just count this out. Ah, uh, you're correct, but I can repeat dialogue just like that last guy back in chapter one. We're, we're on to chapter four. Here, question four. It's elementary for non idiots. Where is the one, the only diamond star? It's in the. See the hooktail's belly. Are you sure about that? Yep. So that's our last question we need to get right, so we can get to the next. Ah, uh, you're correct. You've already gotten four correct? You're kidding me. 
Well, fine. I'm going to toss an extra hand one your way. I'm going to toss an extra extra hard one your way. You happy now, sucker? Oh, we got this, man. We we haven't even got a single question wrong. We're going to get this next one right now. I'm kidding. What was the name of the very first champion at Glitzville Arena? The answer for here is Prince Mush, but we're totally smart. It's Prince Macho. Yeah, we're totally sure about that. It's the name of a champ, Prince Macho. Like Macho Man, Randy Savage. Anyways. You're dumb or d dumb. Remember, three strikes and you're out, loser. Strike one for us. Here's the next one. Now for question six. What did Francesca and Frankie and, and Frankie from Rogueport leave, uh, lose on Kill Hall Key? It was a ring, but they lost a bling. Because they're gangster. Oh, you're very foolish. So wrong it hurts me. One more slip and you're done for, Junior Nerd. Just one more. Mwah. Here we go. Here's our last question. What number question is this? Uh, it is obviously question seven. It says it right there. You, you gotta do this uh, again. But all my infinite wisdom is this question four. Because I zoned out after that last one. Yeah, I feel like it's the same question. Oh, wrong. Like, like that song or Lex Luthor from that one Superman movie? You got three wrong answers. And it's go time. As in... Time for the punishment round, Mr. Wrong. Ooh, yucks. And the red. Win this fight and you'll give... I'll give you the elevator key anyways. But what are the chances? Listen, you have no chance. But you... But do your best, because it amuses me. <laughs> yes, and for our... Reward for getting easy questions wrong, we got ourselves some really tough enemies here. Two of them, to be in fact. Yeah, we got ourselves a... And let me repeat myself. Let's go ahead and title these guys, and... These are some enemies that I'm really going to have to use the art attack on. Just to simply put it, you, do, you don't want these guys attacking. Because they uh, take away Goombella. Give us... Uh, tell us why. That's an X-Yuck. I hear it. This is... This read as Cross-Yuck. Not an X-Yuck. Oh, sorry. So it's an, a Cross-Yuck. Anyway, this is a new Yucks design... Designed to protect extra important areas. They are designed to be unbeatable. They're not. Match HP is 10, attack is 3, defense is 1. It can produce too many cross yuxes at once. And it has an excellent success rate of immobilizing opponents. We gotta do something about that if we're gonna win. Yep, that is the main reason why. You don't want them to be immobilizing you. For, and, and for that reason, I'm going straight for the art attack. Not taking a single chance whatsoever. So just uh, make sure we get uh, three successful circles. A a any less, you're kind of doomed here. Because they get one immobilize, um, immobilize on you, then you're kind of screwed here. Oh, I'm kind of wrong here. We need four. Look, we just barely got that. Wow. And what? Only 12? The four elite x knots gave us 20. That was lousy. And we just... Blue four star points on, or star meters on that. Well, actually, I kind of need that because it's the really dangerous enemies to put up with. No, no, you beat my little cutie underlings. How could you? Ah, jerk! Just take this and go. And if you ever wonder, uh, now, now that I hate you. Pluh. Raspberry mouth stuff. So we get the elevator key. This will allow us to access more of the Exodot Fortress. More and beyond than just uh, sub-level 1 and 2. There's uh, another elevator back in sub-level 2. We can take that and go a bit deeper here. But but uh, before we do that, I think there might be a... Is, yeah, there's one more area that we would like to... Oh, the heck? My voice just uh, made a weird noise. It's like a, uh, I don't know, like a robot thing. But uh, we, we gotta go to the very... Var right here. And uh, there's uh, one more important thing that we would like to uh, take care of there. And there's yet another cross yucks. So let's not get the jump on them. Ha, <laughs> I had a bun there. 
but in all seriousness, we need to hit this guy as hard as we can. We, do, we don't want him attacking us at all costs, because immobili immobilization from this guy who does a fair amount of damage, and he's just able to consistently do that. No sorry, we're, we gotta take him down the first turn. And so he was guarding uh, what appears to be Grotus' room. Oh, it, it's obviously Grotus' room. This is the same place where uh, we were streaking around in as Princess Peach. So here's the card key. We need uh, one of three of these things to access the big room in uh, in the Exodot Fortress, which w which actually does lead to the Crystal Star. So be sure to get there before you even progress even deeper into this area, as it will uh, very very well help you out. Yeah, I think um yeah I, I think that's all there is in this area. So let's uh, insert the elevator key and hmm. It should, is that, yeah. I feel like uh, I need to go to the very far left and check that one room because I think maybe uh, I didn't go into that room in the very far left. I want to be absolutely sure here. And Oh, that's right. This room. I feel like uh, we should have another card key at some point. Uh, we, we did. That, this was the one room that we got it from. So uh, never mind that about that. So I think uh, we got... Uh, uh, I guess we have all this. We, we took all the stuff... Uh, that uh, is available to us in sub level 2. So I guess we'll just uh, dead on sub level 3. I didn't uh, see myself uh, getting this far. Or that, that quickly. Or th this far that quickly. So here are in sub level 3. I think I ought to check out sub level 4 for us. Or for right now. Because uh, I think there's some stuff down there for us that we can't uh, access after we beat this chapter. So let's be on the safe side and uh, check things out down here. I think, um, oh, this is the floorboards and everything. It looks a little bit familiar. And this room is Peach. Peach's room. But she's not here. Where is she? And there's a... And there's a... Is there an x knot somewhere? There's one x the oh, elite x knot just in, in the shower room. We had a crash your shower parade. But, uh, we're gonna knock you out and get, uh... But I think we'll just... Alright, Kumbella just gonna suck at action commands. Just have Mario take care of that. But we're just gonna get, uh, well, only five star points. A little bit lousy, but... Hey, all that counts. Oh, it's four. What, why we... I guess, like, the experience yield just gets smaller and smaller the more you rank up. Kind of like how Pokemon works. But, eh, what do I know? So... That's all there is to this area. We can't uh, visit Tech, not just yet, because if we try to go uh, into this room right here, this door is locked, so we can't visit Tech just uh, not quite yet. We gotta wait a little bit longer before we can do that. What am I saying? The whole point is Tech is dead, so what's the point? So with that, we'll just uh, head to back to sub level three, and over here is the Another X knot. Of all things, man. Show me the elite X knots. Well, we actually, we do have some. We got one more, and a PhD, and just one measly elite X knot. That's kind of lousy. I should have like uh, four in each battle. But uh, just, if it was like that, then there would be a huge difficulty spike. And so now let's uh, check out this shelf slam. In case if I never do. So we got to rep repeatedly tilt left. Uh, it, the control stick to the left. It's like tapping. Really similar to how Bow's attack works in the first game. Just do that, and there you go. A more powerful version of the... Uh, oh. oh, HP? Okay. I was like uh, hovering over the X button in case if it was like a rock or a so uh, crush shot again. But so, yeah. That might be the only time where I might use the, sh the shell slam. Oh, like I could like, uh, get around to knocking down another ability. Uh, let me see what the Miss Mouse has. Uh, there's a tease, which acts is just like a dizzy dial. And then you have the smooch, which uh, if you find Mario with low HP, you can have Miss Mouse's ability and she'll automatically give Mario uh, 10 HP. 
it's useful in case if you already have uh, super shrooms or or the sweet treat or the su sweet feast that do the job uh, just as efficiently. And so with, with that smorgasbord of X knots, we get a total of 10 star points. We're doing a little bit better on that. But we've gotten a lot more if there were more elite X knots. And so here's a really tough uh, uh, floorboard puzzle. Is that we got uh, this. We, we got to go pace ourselves really slowly. Make sure you don't screw up here because uh, one one false step and we got to go all the way back and do this process all over again. So really take your time here and focus if you if you could, which I'm kind of not. I'm just barely being able to do this while keeping minimal focus. Just keep doing that. It's kind of weird how yeah, this is like I think this is the only case where party members have like this uh, follow. Uh, feature kind of like the punies in chapter two where they're real up close um, Mario, I guess just uh, uh Not to like throw off the Mario so They're gonna change it up on us like That All right, just make it and carefully open this chest and in it is our third card key It's the last one we need. I didn't expect myself to already have the third one Felt like I was just getting my second one but alright, we'll take it. And with these three card keys, we go to the to the right side here. And oh. There's another X knot. Alright. Well there is one left, so it's fair to have one on the right. That's all good. Because with these yucks, uh, they don't stand a chance to Goombella. Look at that. It's Goombella doing 4-4. Four, four. Not even a chance. Can I get the spring jump right, please? I, I wanna just have the satisfaction of getting this right. Thank you. Ugh. When you successfully do it like that, you get just a mother load of damage on them. Like a maximum of just six and six. Although I think it's uh, the first one is just as much as you do with uh, uh, when you successfully do the spin jump. So yeah, it's like a mm, maximum on both ends. So with that level up, we just got really soon. And uh, also this, I totally forgot about this, but now we reach level 20, or leveled up about 20 times. Mario became an A-list star. Next battle, Mario's crowd will, in strange will get even bigger. So that means uh, now our our audience capacity will go from 100 to 150. And with that, I should uh, arrange my badges before I forget. And I think I'm... Uh, there's, no, there's not going to be any spiked enemies in the x Not Fortress. So I think um, what I could do is uh, get rid of one one of my badges and make room for, let's say, I'm not going to use any jump badges, which they're going to be, they're, if you do, the, then they're a real big boon to you. But I'm keeping my word, I'm, I'm going to try and make a decent hammer load out here. Hammer throw would be nice. And it, I just took that off just to see if I could find anything else. I guess uh, I'm not really making like a hammer loadout, but it's it's kind of like a semi jump and hammer loadout, where I'm not gonna be making too much use of the jump, but I'm I'm trying to get like a good mixture of both, the hammer and the jump. So uh, I guess I'll try out the lucky star badge. This is a kind of a nice ba badge to have because you get like a random says infliction, that is for your good. There's no bad says infliction. They're all just good, so you'll be enhanced in a way, in some shape or way. So just uh, put in the three card keys right there, and we're all, but real close. It really goes to show you how far you can get in the game by just uh, just doing, just having 30 minutes. Man, uh, my Paper Mario playthrough it went on for like 50 or 50 parts, and all of them were relatively around 20 minutes. And here it's. It's only taken about I don't know, 35, but we're going to have a lot of after game content where it could be buffed up to around where I uh, around the, the parts that I had to make for the first game. So it's all but fair. So we'll just uh, make do with these. Uh, take, take care of these uh, PhD X knots here. At this point, it would be really nice to have the feeling fine batches just in case if I screw up here and I guess I didn't screw up. That's good. 
but if I had to take some attacks from these guys and just have to put up with a lot of uh, status inflictions, that could be really, really good or really, really bad. So luckily, uh, that one excellent that we bought, that, that the excellent PhD that we fought, it wasn't too far to the right because uh, sometimes uh, the coins that they drop or any of the good loot, they could go over that one ledge that we threw over with Bobby to hit that switch with. Uh, that loot would have uh, a good or really good it would have went over there and we could have never been able to get it so veil with vivian jeez it's been a long time since we used vivian outside of battle and so we just uh, hop up here and uh just think about it wow vivian just shows uh least use to us on the field but in battle she's just a beast monster and i need to make room for that ultra shroom that we see in the back so I think I'd ought to... Uh, I'll, I'll give Koops one of my super shrooms. In case if I really need to. And so, what I kind of like about this is that... In some cases, uh, weird enough, you can walk backwards. And... Oh, I didn't miss it. Or I, I missed that jump on the way back. But it's fine. If you uh, are in that situation just like that, then find the nearby pipe and you'll be able to backtrack here. And have another go at it. I think I have... No, not... I want to have Kool-Aid back out. Because I want to see if I can take like a little shortcut here and just hover jump. Or flutter jump with the, my Yoshi. Which I I named it Kool-Aid. Because I like Kool-Aid. That fruity juice. I'm sorry if anyone here is now quenching for Kool-Aid. I'm, I'm sure that the nearest market has them. Pause this video and go get it. Go get Kool-Aid. So, I gotta backtrack. Give me a moment here while I get this right. Yep, in a situation where you <clears throat> don't expect it to. Where, uh, in other cases in this chapter, cogs are your worst enemy in this, in this uh, case scenario. They went from helping us getting really good badges to uh, just hindering us in a way. Jump a little bit to speed things up a in the slightest. Uh... I want to position myself where I can stay on this platform. Or just wait for the right sequence here. I think I'm going to get right here. So we just jump right there, jump down. I don't want to be messing with uh, having to jump from that cog to cog. Because it's just not easy to, to recover from that jump. And so with all that hard work, we finally get to this one pipe over here. And uh, over here we got a paper airplane mode of all things. Out. This will be the la last time we use it. But more importantly, we get a another card key. Where wherever we could possibly use that, and a jerk uh, spot to put that. A Z yucks right in front of a heart block and a save block. Wow. So it's really important to take these guys down. As uh, if you want to save or take a break, uh, be sure to take care of that. I believe uh yeah, it should be the last enemy that we need to take care of. Excluding the enemies that we skipped uh, outside, out in the moon. So, another six star points. It would have been really good to do all the, these battles in case if you're really close to, to a level up. Or in the case where uh, you should be at like level 20 before you fight, fight the boss in this area. Because, spoiler alert, there's a boss in chapter 7. Just like with all the other chapters, there's gotta be a boss. I just wonder who's going to be the boss. So uh, don't overshoot shoot your jumps. And we got to backtrack. Uh, or we got to get back to that one area that we uh, paper airplane mode. So again, give me a moment. All right. I, never mind. What, what am I saying? This is what you guys got to do too. So I'm, I'm kind of cheating here by just uh, cutting an uh, important part of this chapter. Which is doing a sequence again of all things. So, in case if you, you want to figure out how to get through this area again, which uh, believe me, it, it is tough to get through, let alone uh, twice or let alone once. So I'll just show it again. Just wait on these two, uh, th those two moving platforms, especially the, the, that that one and this one. Or it's the one moving down, the one I'm on right now. Just wait for them to get in the right good pattern and just uh, do that. And I'm waiting for this one too. Uh, you, you really want to take your time making these jumps because it's a painful feeling 
having to go back and do this again. I think now's the time. Yep. I felt like I was able to do that, but I, I was too sure about that. So I had to take a few moments to make sure it's safe. So now we're up here. So I'm going to drop down these uh, two chains right there. Because uh, right over there is a switch that I'm going to play it safe and have Coop's shell toss it. And of all magical paper sorcery, a set of stairs appears. So we just carefully jump over there. I think um oh man. Uh oh here's a crappy part. If you want to go save and use the heal or the heart block, you gotta drop down and do that. And then you gotta do the sequence back there all over again. So uh, as much as I don't like to have to do that, but yeah, that's where I'm gonna uh, have to just uh, put things on hold. So we we did uh the the last half of this Exop Fortress. Obviously we're gonna have to end things off here, but I promise you, to next time for the conclusion of chapter seven, as we're going to be getting that last crystal star in the, and maybe find we get some information on where Peach is, because we didn't find her in sub level four, which is where she was being held. So all all and more will be answered uh, in the next part, which it should be tomorrow. I promise. So to to next time for that, uh, and all that, I just dragged out the Zetro longer than it should. So, alright, till then, see you guys later. I'm gonna have to drop down, as much as I don't like to.